All right, so I got my friend Keegan with me here today Hello. and a bunch of his friends. We had big dreams today to fly some fixed ones before you guys head on to yes, a drone race. Now, unfortunately, we have a lot of wind, but that's okay, because we have kites. If you guys don't recognize Keegan, Keegan and his father, Dan, have been an amazing part of flight test ever since the beginning. Uh, matter of fact, if you love the downloadable plans that you're building our scratch builds from, that's from his father. Now, you're not alone here. You brought a whole bunch of your friends. No, yeah, we have an entire team out here with us. What are you guys doing? So it's a bunch of different colleges doing drone races, so we're representing the University of North Dakota. So we wanted to have a little time here to fly some fixed wings, but just typical Ohio weather. We got 20 to 30 mile an hour winds gushing up to 40. So we can't fly airplanes. No. But we can fly kites. I call these bag kites here because there's no rigid structure to them. The small kites generally go faster but pull less hard. Mine is all the way at the top, the 2.5 meter snapshot. This thing has 350 pound tests and it can pull you off of your feet. Uh, we're gonna kind of shoot somewhere in the middle here because it's really windy today. We're gonna go ahead and shoot for the Synapse 2, two meter uh, because it has just the right amount of speed and pull. We should be just fine in this 25 mile an hour wind. We'll bundle it up. Yep. Let's have some fun. So a couple really important things here. If you wind these up, you don't want to wind it up like this because you're going to be putting a constant twist in the line. You actually want to wind it like a figure eight. So as it unspools, it doesn't have a twist. If you have any kind of tension knots, you always want to untangle that and despool the line because that's going to cause it to break easier. Dude, this may be a little too ridiculous. We'll see. Oh my gosh. Now, Keegan, you got to fly the uh, the snapshot at Flight Fest, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, and it was uh, significantly less windy and a smaller wing. Yes. The neat thing about when you go with a bigger wing, you can fly in less wind and it may not be fast but it is a really enjoyable experience today we have ridiculous wind so i'm going to actually keep at the edge of the wind window when i get it up but i'm not going to power through the power area if you think about it where the wind blows if you're facing the kite probably between a 15 and a 45 degree angle that's where most of your power and most of your speed is going to go if you have moderate winds you can have a lot of fun in this case it's going to probably pull so hard if you hear your your strings humming like a lightsaber uh, that means bad things are coming ready So if anyone's ever flown a stunt kite before, you don't pull the string down towards the ground, you pull the string towards your chest. And then when you want to fly neutral, you even the string. So if you're flying to the left or the right, you always bring your strings back to neutral to stay in the direction you want to go. Dude, this is great weather for this one. <laughs> so you can see right here is where the wind window is. You can see it's really pulls hard, you got most of your speed, but if I want to take a breather, I can go right over to the edge here, and I can just relax, and I can hold it with my fingertips. The second I want to get power again, right back through the wind window, and we're good to go. Now with paramotoring, you never want to live in that power band. You always want to stay to the edge or get it above that. In this one, that's where all the fun is. So when it comes time to land these, after you've had a lot of fun, you just take it to the edge of the wind window, and you slowly just walk it towards the ground. Just like that. Keegan, you ready, man? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, red right. goes to right. Right, red, blue left. Awesome. So just remember, whenever you're going left and right, you don't milk it like a yep. cow, you pull it towards your chest. All righty. Yeah. There you go. So this is one of our goals that we're really looking forward to with the new location. We want to be able to do content with our friends. And it's so awesome that you guys stop by for the day, especially that you're going to be racing quads. So see right there, you are at the edge of the wind window. That's where it's gonna be nice and soft. Well, as you go through right there, it's gonna be a lot more powerful, a lot more energy, and a lot more speed. Now, and you see on the other side of the wind window, you have the same thing. You can also go up above you as well. Try bringing it down in the center there and have a little fun. See how much it pulls. <laughs> Come back. Great work, man. Do you feel it? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is just a two meter right now. Imagine what a 2.5 would do. Don't ever let a, a young child uh, uh, handle a big glider here or else it's gonna pull you pretty good. Dude, you're doing great. Keegan, you're rocking it, man. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> so my suggestion is, is even if you plan on flying multi-rotors, fixed wing, anything like that, bring a kite with you because even if you start your day in calm wind, if you want to continue the fun, want to continue the flying, bring a kite out. These are also great because they're so small, you can shove them in your glove box. <laughs> you good? Now this is my son's Noah's kite here. It's a perfect size for him. He's about 160 pounds, so it's not going to drag him too easily. And it's pretty challenging, isn't it? Dude, you can just lean back into this thing. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's crazy. You can just bring it right to the edge and oh, no, yes. nothing there. You just set it down. And you'll notice as the wind changes, especially with different heights and stuff, you gotta constantly find where that wind window and where that power area is. And once you find it, especially by a beach, you can just live there. If you need to take a break, just take it over the edge. Who would ever thought kites would be so intense, huh? Yeah, exactly. It's like the hardest pulling control line airplane you could ever think of. <laughs> Dude, you're crushing it. So these kind of kites are really durable because there's no carbon fiber or internal structure. The only thing I would strongly encourage you is don't fly them on a sandy beach and drag it through the sand. If you land it, land it as soft as possible and don't let it rub against it because it's going to be abrasive. All right. All right, you want me to land it? Yeah. Let's see if you can put it down. Got the edge of the wind window. Yep. There you go, man. <laughs> Good job. So friends, oftentimes we talk about making memories as family and Keegan is in the major example of what that's like you fly with your dad all the time yeah yeah as much as possible now that i'm in school but yes yeah. now the important thing is is it doesn't matter whether it's a fixed wing whether it's a drone or even whether it's a kite get out there and fly something we'll see you next time